I'm his kid, so like, of course, I'm gonna be like, boo. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> So in fantasy football, Marseille, you play Callie Coleman, the daughter of Amari's character, Atlanta mm-hmm. Falcons player Bobby Coleman. And after a magical accident, Callie can now control her dad's moves on the playing field via Madden 23, EA Sports Madden 23. So mm-hmm. according to Anton, who yeah, I just spoke to, <laughs> he made sure the two of you played the game on set and in like pre-production. So I got to know who's got the best score behind the scenes. Oh, my score is non-existent. I don't look, it's not even, it's not even there. Look, I, I only knew what I had to do. Uh, like three minutes before oh, we started yeah. filming our scenes, like guaranteed, like we broke it down. And of course we had a professional Madden gamer on set and mm-hmm. We pretty much knocked out all of Callie's scenes where she is in her bedroom playing the game, like all in like, like a couple days. So it was like a kind of a consistent, like, all right, we got this part. I have to do this. We're reading the script. We're like, okay, okay, okay. So what are the buttons to make that happen? (laughs) Whatever that is. Yes. So it was, it was a lot of that. It was a lot of that for sure. But there ain't, there ain't no score behind the scenes. We, I tried. I I would win. Not by a lot though. No, I'm pretty. I'm okay at it. I'm now, all right at it. Now, Amari, yeah. could you beat Marseille's dad? Too? Josh plays it. He plays it. I Not think. because he's good at it. He, he just plays, plays it? it too much. Like, yeah, but he's good at it. He's good at it. I guess. I don't know. I really don't. <laughs> she wouldn't know. I wouldn't know, but like, I'm, I'm, I think I'm he's his, good at I'm it. I'm his kid, so like, of course, I'm gonna be like, boo. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> well, let me ask you a question. Uh, let's let's talk about. Callie and Bobby's relationship then. What what journey did they take in this movie? It started as a father-son script. When they got it, genius that is, in Marseille's company, they said, well, why can't the son be a daughter? So she being as close as she is to her actual father and me being as close as I am to my actual daughter. So we started at a place in terms of the traversing of their relationship where we just tried to be there for each other. Just be loving each other. Let's just have this fun competition of getting the keys and who gets to the car the fastest. And then, of course, it grows to this place where she's having to now be the parent and teach the parent, yo, Pops, you're losing it a bit. I'm trying to hook you up, but you've lost your way a bit. So I think you see that range of where they go. Right. Start out nice, and then they got some conflict there. We wanted to get that teamwork chemistry in in like the first couple minutes of the, of the film. And then right. also seeing the conflict that they've made with each other and then seeing how they are separately mm-hmm. with how has it, has it been in the yeah. house. And I think it's just a whole back and forth situation. And I think that's the beauty behind the film as well is that you see where their minds are without each other. But when it comes back, it's just some type of like, whether it's a storm or whether it's yeah. something insane, there's always built up happiness and built up anger, but it's, that's where, the the movie shines the most for sure. I agree when with you that. see those moments. I agree. Your daughter depends on you, not moving us all around the country. I'm depending mm-hmm. on you to make it where Atlanta works out. He's reminding her where Atlanta's working out. I'm having the greatest season of my life and she's going, and I'm having the worst. That's the saddest moment in the movie for me. You know, and so the movie does take us to that journey of like how do we get back where both are happy, where everybody in the house is happy. Absolutely. I also feel like there's something in this movie for everybody. You got mm-hmm. something for, you know, Fans of football, something mm-hmm. for the gamers, something for mm-hmm. geeks like me who like BattleBots. Like you've got yeah, BattleBots. Oh, the, yeah. the, the robotic <laughs> section of the movie is the greatest, isn't it? Black it kids and, is. and, and Steam. Like that's that's amazing to me. Well, I think it's also important that you know what you said earlier, Marseille. You and your company decided to change the character from male to female, mm-hmm. and then. But I'm curious, what made you decide to play the role? Because that's a lot of work, being on set as a producer mm-hmm. and acting. You know, I I will never put myself in a situation where I am not having a good time or I'm not having fun or I'm not feeling challenged or challenges excite me in a sense. And I I saw Callie being a role where I can have fun with it. I can I can take my actual life experiences and put it into this character that is just like a normal teenager that constantly is feeling overwhelmed in this very unique space that she's in. And um, 
that's really what made me draw myself into the film. So like I, I read it and then I went back and I was like, wait a minute. And then I read it again with me saying the, the lines mm. and like some of the outlines mm. just to see how it felt mm, coming out of your mouth, coming out of my mouth yeah. before I even wow. said yes, by the way, I was just like, I just want to know if this could be me, you know, like, could, is this something that I am up for the challenge? Because, you know, time is a beautiful thing as well. And it's something that you don't get back. So I want to always use my time wisely, especially with projects like this. And it just felt like this would be a time well spent project for sure. And the beautiful set pieces that we get to have. And I just I just knew there was something beautiful behind it. And, you know, being a producer, you get to not only put the cast together and put the puzzle pieces in the right spots, but you also get to after you do that, you get to experience it. So I I think there was something beautiful about that. And Omari, what was it like uh, working opposite your boss? It's okay. You can tell me. I know. I know. (laughs) Yeah, let me know. Man. It was so refreshing because life has not tainted her as much in 18 years on earth. She doesn't have the same hangups. She's got insecurities. She's a young lady. She's a young black female. She's a double minority. She's dealing with teenage stuff. And she's trying to figure out how to get us to a place where we can ask for a particular budget to be increased enough to be able to have a couple bit extra days on the football field. That That's a whole different world. And so whatever, I found my way around just trying to make sure that she remembered, oh, I'm a kid. Yeah, you're a whiz kid. You are a genius. You're a savant in many a way, but like, let's just remain a kid. I try because she's amazing for our culture. We need her. It was amazing. The greatest boss ever. Cause she's not stuck in a way. She's not tainted. She's not, she's not mad. She's not bitter. Like it's beautiful. Awesome. Thank you both so much at Marseille. This thank is an you. incredible movie and incredible for girls. I just want to thank you for that. Thank you so thank you. much.